in. Okay, so tell me a little bit about vampires. Why vampires? Why vampires? Well, Clay is a super horror buff. Um, he basically, when we started dating, I had never seen a horror movie. Um, I saw the black and white ones, which were my favorite. I like the older classics. And so he took me on to date. I think our second movie was The Aliens, which I had never seen. <laughs> and I remember, like, ripping him. Um, I left bruises on his arm. But um, after that, I got, I, I liked the thrill of it. And so after that, we became, uh, you know, every Friday night we would be doing horror movie nights, you know, just lots of little horror movies. Um, nothing bad. I don't like slasher films or anything, but I love the classic monsters. I love werewolves. Werewolves were my huge thing. Uh, vampires. Uh, but I like the classics. I love the old black and white. Um, Bella Lugosi, Peter Cushing, those, you know, Christopher Lee. I loved all those. And so we got to watch a lot of those. And uh, Clay, you know, led me through the whole process. And so it became a, a, an infatuation, something that we always, always talk about. Um, and that became one of the ideas. We threw that out after we had, uh, we got married in Edinburgh. Scotland, and uh, where Great Fire takes place. And so as we were there looking at the city, we decided this would be a great setting uh, to set the book. So that's where that came from, and then he's going, you know, wouldn't it be great if there were vampires who lived here? And after that, it just, it just took off. So that's where the idea came from, and from his love, and I love Paul so and I like a little bit of the romance. Yeah, nothing huge, but just enough to just sort of bring the characters into some, some 3D dimension, and that's where, you know, great parts of the from. Did you feel kind of beholden to the classic vampire, or did you feel, did you, how much did you want to adhere to the classic, and how much did you want to add your own twist? Well, we wanted to um, definitely pay homage to the classic, but we also wanted to do something different, because it's a genre that's done so much. Um, so we wanted to do, um, Clay was you know, adamant about bringing something new to the, to the, to the page, and so we decided to do the parasite, the, uh, you know, that, that they're not dead, that they're basically another species. Um, and that once we started talking about that, it sort of blossomed into, like, you know, how, what kind of myths can we change and what, you know, what can we explain scientifically? And, um, and that worked. I mean, we, we were kind of surprised that, you know, that there was so much little bit that we could play with in that regard. So. so as a fan of the classics and the pulp, would you also call yourself science fiction fans? Do you watch the old? Absolutely. I mean, there's, you know, I, there's no doubt that we were science fiction fans before horror. I was a science fiction fan, science fiction fancy fan, um, way before horror. Uh, and so was Clay. Clay, you know, we watched Think from Another World. We watched, um, you know, any of the old space movies, the older 1950 giant bug movies, giant monster movies. That was Clay. And you know, it's like I said, we were emergent. I mean, when we when we met each other, it was you know, kismet because we loved so many of the same um, genres. Um, and so we kind of just it was easy to merge. I mean, there was a couple that I liked a lot more than him, and a lot that he loved. And we just started you know playing with them. We both loved Pulp. We both grew up on Pulp. Um, I lived next to Maxwell Grant, who was oh, author of Shadow. And so that was a big influence for me. I met him. You know, we would talk all the time. He'd always cut little books into my hands of, of his stuff, so I got to read, you know, some of the great stories from him, so all that came into play, and Clay was a big fan of Dr. Savage and the Avenger and, and all those, and so it was just natural that we would infuse some of that action and drama into that. Now, if someone, having read and loved The Great Fire, wanted to go back and read some of the pulps that inspired you, would you have any top five you can tell people to go back and read? My top five um, characters is The Shadow, one, one, you know, number one, it has to be um, The Phantom. Um, I love, for, uh, it's not really considered pulp, but I love some of the, um, uh, the Lost World, the, um, from, and I'm blanking, having a, a moment. Um, Oh my God. By the way, so you tell everyone not to watch the Hollywood movies. Definitely no, to go read them. Go read them. <laughs> That's one. The Lost World is hilarious. I'm sorry, I got more enjoyment out of reading those books than the dialogue. The dialogue, especially, was so crisp in the Lost World and all the challenger stories. I never read Sherlock Holmes stuff. Oh wow. Because I was infatuated with the, the Lost World characters. I loved Roxanne. I loved Challenger. I loved Malone. The movies, the TV shows. Oh, yeah. I know. It's like the Shadow movie. Did you see that? Oh, it was a cringe. <laughs> You know, it was the only shadow movie, so, you know, except for the old pulp. I mean, I listened to every radio show. That's where my love came from, is those old radio shows. And I used to listen to those. I still have some, like, you know, cassettes and stuff, and those are great. But, you know, The Phantom, The, the Shadow, Doc 
Savage, the Avenger. Uh, we just did some short stories for the Avenger about a couple of years ago, and they were so much, we wrote stories for the Phantom, and I was just like so thrilled that we got some of those great pulp stuff, uh, pulp characters out there, so that's fantastic. So tell us a little bit about Greyfriar 2 coming out soon. Greyfriar 2, what's the best to say? Well, it's, it's a whole new um, adventure just in terms of, again, a, a, the weights that are bearing down on them from um, the politics, from her family and the, the, the crown, you know, becoming empress or, you know, and, and what's against her. She's a woman trying to take on a man's role and, and, and there's so many in, in that particular area that do not want her on the throne and she's fighting against that. Great Friars fighting against his own people and still trying to do what you know what he thinks is right to you know to save humanity and stuff. So there's a lot of pressures on both of them now coming from their own families, um, and it's that that stress that you know they're both trying to get together, but they're trying to do what's right for their families. It's, it's a torn between duty um, and and law basically, and which one is going to win out is, is where that that comes into. You know, it's the cusp of the war. We're, we're right on the on the cusp of, of something tragic and, and yet, you know, uh, good for humanity, but very bad for, for you know, for other people. <laughs> <laughs> now, last question. Because we are a BEA, is there any book you're going to run around and snap up that you're dying to read? Oh, my gosh. Uh, sadly, there's, I mean, there's somebody on this wall right here I know. at the fire booth that I'm dying <laughs> to read. Uh, so there's a lot of, uh, of, of possibilities here. This is my first PEA, so I'm kind okay. of just in awe of everything that's going on. I had not realized it was quite so huge as this, so it's been really exciting. I know we're, we're trying to actually look at some of the, uh, the comic book stuff. We want to try and see if we can do something with uh, getting Great Fryer animated in some way. That would be fantastic. So we're, we're, we're looking at that, but, you know, so far we're just kind of... Gog, you know, a gog, a gog, <laughs> and all the different books. But I know I've got two bags. And I'm, I'm ready to start picking up books. I didn't realize so many authors were going to be here, so I'm still honored to be an author in the company. You have to circle like a shark. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> or a pilot fish just latch. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much for taking the time, and Absolutely. I'll see you at your signing. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.